Hey, what's going on guys? Sam Man back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ghostbusters figure from Diamond Select. Now, I did pick these up at Toys R Us because these are hitting stores. So you can see this is Ray Stance action figure and I believe this is like in the seven inch scale. So I don't know if these are going to be released in like a different packaging like the Marvel Select style packaging because Toys R Us, I have been seeing that they're selling some of the Diamond Select figures are like the Nightmare Before Christmas and Gotham figures, but they're selling them in this kind of packaging, like with a card and everything and the little bubble in the front. So I'm not sure if this is going to differ from other, any other packaging, but these are like $12.99 in retail. So you got the figure right here. It looks like it comes with a lot of accessories. Uh, we come to the back, <clears throat> and the other figures available is Louis Tully and Winston Zeddemore. And you have uh, the fig picture of race stands right here, and then all the Ghostbusters right there at the bottom, and the, you know a little bit of artwork with their uh, proton packs and everything and it tells you right here diamond select toys ghostbusters sony pictures and uh i got a little bit of a read up there of of uh ray stan so i'll go ahead and zoom in there so feel free to pause and you can read the description there but this is pretty much the packaging packaging sorry on the figure let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and we're going to take a close look at ray stance all right guys so here's a quick little 360 look at ray stance it's a pretty cool looking figure and he does come with a lot of accessories which we'll get into here in a second but this is a quick little 360 look at ray let's take a closer detailed look at the action figure all right, so accessories. He comes with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hands. He's got ungloved hands right here. I'll show you all of them here in a second because he's got a whole lot of hands. He's got some ungloved ones plus the pair that he has on the um, that's displayed on the actual figure right now. So he's got these ones right here, a bunch of different hands, and then he has these gloved ones, which I do like. You can see them right here, these different various gloved hands that he comes with. Now, the cool thing about him is that <laughs> they have this rubber piece right here at the bottom of the, uh, of the glove, and it actually comes off. So you can either display it with the end of the glove or not. It's really up to you. But he comes with a total of 10 hands, which is very, very nice. And they all have pegs of their own. Um, he comes with a walkie-talkie, as seen in the movie. You can see that right there. Big old long walkie-talkies from the 80s. A little bit of detail on there, not a whole lot. I don't know if this clips on anywhere, we'll find out in the figure. He comes with a display base that has one peg on there, but I think the figure stands pretty good on his own. Uh, this is a little plain. I think it would have been cool if they gave us like a really nice base with like a Ghostbuster logo on there. He comes with the goggles that you can see right here. Now this is a really cool accessory. I like how this thing came out right here. I forgot the actual name on these, so feel free to school me below, but he's got the goggles right here. This is uh, actual soft rubber material for the, um, the, the the straps. And then they're green all the way there. They're sculpted very nicely. And then you have the, um, the eye pieces right there, which look very, very cool. So you got that as well, very nice. You have the stream, the little, you know, the proton stream that comes out of the, um, of the wand of the little from the proton pack you can see that right there this is actually a really really cool piece it's going in and out of focus right here it's just a um i don't know if it's a bendy wire no it doesn't feel like it so it might break and it has this like blue plastic right around it that's just pretty much just wrapped around this i think this plugs into the wand i haven't really messed the figure so you guys are going to go with this um with me as you know learning experience with the figure as i go with the review so that's pretty much it for the accessories now he does come with a proton pack which Looks like it can probably be removed if you take the straps off the actual. We have um, Ray right here, and you have the proton pack, which I'll show you guys a close up here, and you can see all the great detailing on here. Now, it's not sculpted on the actual figure, so you can remove it if you really wanted to. Why you would really want to, I don't know, but you can see right here it is all a separate piece that's attached to this whole straps that goes through here and through here. So this is all a separate piece. So if you really wanted to take this off, you could. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do it because I obviously want my Ghostbusters figure with their proton packs. But you can see there's a side look of the proton pack right here. And then again, there's the, uh, there's the back of it and you can see all the cool little wires and you know little buttons and whatnot. And there is a little bit of like, um, a warning sticker right over here. Now I'm not sure how well the camera We'll pick that up and I doubt it will, but it's got a little like a caution thing right around there. So this is a really nice little piece. And then you have the wand, which is on a uh, 
on a, like a little plastic wire right here. It's on a, it's kind of like a bendy wire. So like you can see right here, it supports the wand depending on how you, you bend it around. But let me put the figure down. You guys can see the wand here, but it's a pretty nice piece. As soon as it focuses in, you guys can see it. You can see right there, there's the wand. Very, very nice. And uh, I'm trying to see if the actual end piece, if there's a place to plug this in, which I don't see anything on here, on where you would even plug the, um, like the stream in. I'll check it out in a second. But um, yeah, so you got the stream and all that on there. Something just came off on my hand. I think it's one of the, one of the stickers just came off on my hand. I don't know where it came from. But um, so that's, that's the accessories overall, what comes with this figure. And uh, we'll look at everything Ray has before we look at the actual figure. Then you got his belt, which is also a separate piece right here. So you can see he's got all these little gadgets and accessories that come with him. I'm gonna show you guys a close up right there. You can see all that right there. Again, a separate, separate piece. All this is sculpted on separate, separately. He's got this wire tube that also has a bendy wire in it that co uh, connects to his thigh, upper thigh. And then you have like a bunch of little like chains and straps and whatnot. So it's pretty movie accurate. It's pretty movie accurate. Now the walkie talkie looks like it goes right in here. Let's see if we can fit this bad boy. Perfect. So the walkie talkie has a little place for it. Now what I wanted to see was, I don't know if where the goggles would go. I mean, I guess you can place the goggles on his head if you wanted to. Yeah, he's got a pretty big head here. Bear with me guys. I might have to cut the camera to see if I can actually fit this on. Well, there it goes. Got one side on. All right, perfect. Look at that. How cool does that look? That looks very, very cool. So we can fit the actual goggles on Ray. That looks nice. It's got a nice looking fit to him. So that fits perfectly around him. Now, as far as the wand goes, I want to see if there's a place I can actually connect this to on the back. It's been so long since I've seen the movie, I really don't remember where anything goes. But I know it's gonna connect somewhere back here. This should have came with some like instruction sheet, which I actually think it did. Let me take a quick break here. All right, so there's no instruction uh, manual that came with this, and it does not look like this can actually peg into anything on the wand, which is very unfortunate because, I mean, why would they include this if you can't get this on the wand unless you can unwrap it? So you can't even unwrap this. This is going to break the, the, the paint off. So if you guys know where this actually pegs into, let me know because I see nothing on the wand. But um, so now that we, you know, try to handle that, let's take a look now at Ray's head sculpt because we didn't get to look at the actual figure himself. So we'll look at the head sculpt, which does look like Dan Aykroyd. The likeness on Dan Aykroyd is pretty on point. Looks like him back in the 80s. The head sculpt, the hair, everything looks great. He's kind of, he has kind of like a long head, a little bit of a chubby face. So they got that on point. Uh, the outfit, again, looks movie accurate. He does read stance right there. And the um, Ghostbuster logo right there with the ghost on there. That looks very, very good. I actually like the outfits from part two, which was more of like a dark gray black color. Um, Mattel did give us those in like a Toys R Us exclusive in a, in a set. You got the um, elbow pads, which is a separate piece right here, which is actually pretty cool. So that is a separate piece. And um, he's got a little bit of like, um, you can see the joint colors right there. It's black right there. And then he's got a little bit of zippers in the outfit. And when you come down here, you can see the pants, everything, the sculpting looks pretty good. The wrinkles, looks a little dirty. I don't know if that's how the figure's supposed to look or it's just the paint. Um, and you got the boots right here. And you can make out the laces, everything comes out pretty good. He's got peg holes on the bottom of both feet. And then we come to the back right here, I'll show you like a quick look at the back side of the figure. So overall, I think this is a great figure. I love how the Proton Pack looks. I love how everything is pretty much um, separately you know, sculpted. It's not all one piece. So, I mean, if you guys really wanted to take everything off, you can take everything off and just have Winston in the, um, the jumpsuit. But again, I don't know why you would want to do that. Now, the flaws that I have with this figure is the wand, the whole wand thing. I mean, there's nowhere you can peg the, uh, the little, like the beam. I don't understand where that's even supposed to go and why they even included it. And another thing I don't like too much is the base. It's just a plain base, but I'm, now I'm just nitpicking. But overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. Now, let's see how the articulation is on this guy. So the head can rotate. The, hand, the head goes up and down. 
Arm goes in and out, forward and back, a bend at the, um, at the elbow, lower arm rotation, the hand can rotate and go in and out. He's got upper torso rotation, slight ab crunch, no waist rotation, legs go in and out. It's got a weird look down there. Uh, they go forward and back. Looks like it's double jointed at the knees. Jeez, uh, upper leg cut right there. Lower foot doesn't rotate. Oh, look at that, they got the zipper right there. I forgot to mention that right there on the boot. You can see the, um, the zipper, that's pretty nice. Uh, the foot has the ankle rockers and it goes up and down. So he's got pretty good range of motion for this figure and it is Diamond Select. I haven't picked up a Diamond Select figure in quite a while. But overall, the look on this guy is very nice. I mean, they did include a lot of cool stuff. He's got a bunch of gadgets and whatnot all around. But um, just the thing is that, you know, it would've been cool if uh, it came with like instructions to tell you how to attach that, that um, beam. And I'm trying to figure out where the wand actually connects to because I like hit like a blank or something and I forgot where this goes. I'm sure this clips on somewhere, but maybe not, I don't know. But overall, I mean, he holds it fairly well. You can see right here, he can hold the wand well and the goggles fit perfectly on him, which I like right, a lot. So my overall thoughts on this guy is, it's a pretty good figure for the price that I got it for, $12.99 at Toys R Us. It's a great figure. You're definitely gonna wanna you know, pick this up, especially if you're a Ghostbusters fan. The detail on this is great. The accurate, uh, movie accurate look, he does look like, um, Dan Aykroyd and the outfit looks great. The proton pack looks great. The everything is great. The accessories is fine. All the interchangeable hands you get because you get tons of interchangeable hands. You get the goggles and everything, which is very very cool. I love this extra little feature. And you get the 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 beam, but it doesn't even fit on the wand. But overall, I think it's definitely worth a pickup. Just got a, some minor flaws on there. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys are going to pick this up again, give me some pointers if you guys know what goes where. Um, again, it's just, uh, it just seems like they, this should have included some kind of an instruction manual just to tell you what goes where on as far as the, um, the beam and, um, maybe if you can attach the, the uh, wand and the proton pack. But again, let me know what you guys think about this. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.